Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and I'm so excited to talk to you today about OBS plugins, mother truckers. This is probably gonna change your life, if you haven't heard about them yet. Which, surprisingly, I think a lot of, like, streamers haven't. What an OBS plugin is basically an add-on to your OBS Studio or OBS.Live to make it, like, better. You know, to make it a little better. There's like so many little things that you can add that can actually end up being really, really cool. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to download these and how to kind of get them running and get them moving. Probably share with you like around my top five plugins that I use right now. It's kind of growing as I play around in this area. This is a space to really like exercise your creative side, which is cool, which is really, really cool. Now, before we jump into that, I do want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is owned.com. TV, more specifically their product Owned Pro. This is an OBS plugin, much like the ones we're gonna talk about today, and it allows you to do things like stream alerts, stream labels, Twitch alert, live chatbot integration, Twitch chatbot, and copyright free music. So you can try it in the link down below. There's a free version just to try out, and of course, a paid version. Using that link highly supports the channel, and also you'll be getting a whole stream revamp. So let's start off with showing you the process of downloading one of these plugins. So you're gonna go to the link down in my description, and that will lead you to this site right here. There is one that I've been wanting to download. So what I'm going to do is go down to the spectralizer. And this is basically a visual form of your audio. So it basically shows like these bars moving up every time it hears audio. So you can use it for music. Or you can use it for mic. You can use it for a lot of things. So pretty dang cool. The way to download pretty much every single one of these works this way. And if they don't work this way, then the creator will tell you how to download them. You'll go to download on the top right here. And then you're going to look for something that says installer windows. So you'll click that installer. And then it's a basic installer, just like you would install anything else. Sometimes you'll have to shut down your OBS and bring it back up to see it. But this particular one comes in as a, comes in as a source. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. I'm going to go to spectralizer. Okay. And then now I have the spectralizer on here so I can choose an audio source. So let's choose um, Nick Mike here. I have a lot of sources. Don't pay any attention to that. And now on my screen, you're gonna see a lot of, of, of bars here. You're gonna see bars, 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 bars. Oh, I mean, yeah, you can see how you can work that into an overlay somehow and whatnot. Pretty dang cool and, and really, really easy to set up. Now I wanna take you through and show you like five of these that I really, really like and that ones I think you should check out. Number one would be a transition table. I downloaded this and this is super helpful because it allows you to customize where, what happens with your transitions, right? So if I want me going from this screen to my gameplay screen, but I, I want a different transition for that than it is to go back to my just chatting screen. I can do that, which is really, really cool. So it's something that I, I would definitely think about downloading and just to have there, just in case you end up doing easy download, you literally just download it and then it ends up showing up in your, in your toolbar. The next one that I use right now is a move transition. What this does is it creates a really cool transition effect when you go between scenes by grabbing the different sources that are similar in other scenes and moving them in a really, really cool way. This is one that we could do a deeper video on and a deeper dive on, but I would highly suggest that checking this out, I think where transitions in the future for streams are going to move to is more of a quicker transition that isn't based around like this whole just to get to your gameplay screen. You know what I mean? I feel, I feel like sometimes I go into streams and there's like a 10 second transition. This is quick and easy and looks really clean. I think that's going to be kind of the trend that we're going to see in streams is really clean over kind of fancy. This next one, I, I actually connected it to channel points. So when somebody redeems channel points, this one happens. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe to be notified for that. The next one is time warp scan. Probably seen this on TikTok where the line comes down the screen and it kind of freeze frames everything above the line and you can kind of create a really funny look. It's something that's super entertaining when people use it for uh, channel points and it's something that's just different. Like, toss people in their tracks and like, how do you do that? You know, kind of a thing. So, it's a fun one. It's not necessarily one that's going to like change your whole world, but it, it definitely uh, is, is an entertaining one. The fourth one that I would talk about is Tuna. This basically grabs your Spotify or your music and it shows that as a source on your stream so you can show people what songs you're playing on stream. And of course, the sweet, sweet DMCA free music. Tuna is one that's really cool. You can actually pair that with a spectralizer one that I, I showed how to download. Um, you can pair those two together. You can really can make a cool effect. Last but certainly not the only, this is kind of within this video. The one of the cooler ones I've seen on here is actually input overlay. Uh, it's it's one where you can actually match up your keys in your mouse and it allows you to put like an input overlay onto your actual OBS. Now there is ways to do this through like a browser source and whatnot, but it's kind of an easy way to have that within OBS versus having to run from a browser. So this is kind of an intro to OBS plugins. I wanna do some more videos, kind of deep diving into each one of these and how I'm using them 
and, and, and how to set them up and, and how to go through kind of the process. So let me know if there's any of them in the comments down below that you want me to, to show you guys how to set up in particular. I am going to be doing a video, like I said, on channel point integration into OBS and how you can let people use channel points and that can affect things that are happening in OBS. And that video will be coming out really, really soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, you can always stop by my stream Monday through Friday. I go live at 10 a.m. Pacific time and I'm live for about five hours. So would love to answer any questions there. If you don't catch me there, you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter. I respond to all DMs there. In the meantime, we'll catch you in the next video, all right?